Monster High guys and ghouls. We are back with our last Freaky Fusion doll opening. And you can see this is Avia Trotter. Avia Trotter? I would, I would say Avia. Avia Trotter. She is a hybrid of a centaur and a harpy. Now she's part of the new Freaky Fusion line and they have a DVD coming out. It says in fall of 2014 where you'll get to watch the story of this. But let's take a quick look at her just in the box. She looks really cool and fierce. I mean, she's got just a fierce look on her face. Mm -hmm. She just looks like she knows her business and she's going to handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and being the, the hybrid of a centaur and a harpy, she's the type of, of ghoul that could tell you to do your chores or she'll gallop all over you. <laughs> That's right. So here's what she looks like in the box. Very, very cool. I like this picture of her, this artwork over here. That's neat. Let's take a look at the back. And then down here it just says the Freaky Fusion story is during the Bite Centennial, the ghouls discover an old scientist's workshop and travel back 200 years to the beginning of Monster High. But when they try to get home, they go through a vortex that fuses some of the ghouls together. With the help of the hybrids, the new monsters in school, they learn how to control their combined flaws and together face their greatest challenge, to save Frankie. So I'm going to be interested to see that movie when it comes out. But for now, let's go ahead and open her up and see what she looks like. We have her out of the box now. And you can see she comes with her own diary. And hers says, you might get a kick out of reading my diary. Seriously, you might. Ha ha ha, ah. get a kick. <laughs> so this is what her diary looks like inside. We're not going to read it. Um, yeah. But on the back is a page about me where you can learn a little bit more about her. She also comes with a Monster High logo hairbrush. So let's take a look at her because I know that's what you all want to see. Here is an overview. Let's look at her a little more closely. So let's start with her face. She is like a, a really pretty lavender kind of purple color her face and ears up there and her makeup is really cool too that's something out of this line all of the face makeup the face paint on these is really really neat her eyes kind of look like i don't know they kind of remind me of like a peacock or something i know that's not probably what it's supposed to be but they're really neat well a harpy is a type of bird creature winged creature so bird makeup would fit to me, it looks like Mardi Gras or Carnival or something. Yeah, you're right, it does. But it's really pretty. Really nice colors. And she comes with this black top hat. Mm -hmm. That has a pink feather on the side of it. And if you look at her hair here, it's styled in this, like, twisted ponytail. Ha ha ha! Ponytail. Because <laughs> she's a horse. <laughs> it is like blue and green and aqua and turquoise. The camera is making it show a little bit bluer than it actually is in real life. It's actually a very unique and very interesting color. I like it a lot. And then back here I'll show you her tail. It's the same color. She has a little curly tail. Same color hair. And then she has wings back there. They're like a, a green, well, they're black, and then the tips are green. And those are removable. And you can see her pink and black plaid top. And she has like a turquoise blue scarf and uh, coming out here on the bottom of her shirt is more of that same color. And the whole thing has this like belt that goes into this bridle that goes around. I don't, I don't know what that would be called. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with horse stuff. I think I think the bridle it goes on the horse's face, but I could be wrong. Oh. Harness? What yes, would this be? Some sort of harness. It's got horseshoe decorations on it. Yeah, there's little horseshoes hanging off here and here, if you can see those. 
and that is removable as well but that goes all the way up in loops around her waist like as a belt almost and you can see here on her back side she has the little Monster High Skull logo print which is cute and then looking down more all four of her legs have these black with silver buckled um, like shin and hoof decorations accessory pieces and those are all removable as well and all four of her legs move and you can pose the front ones the front ones are jointed up here you can see the back ones aren't jointed um, here but you know they do move up here as well so you can kind of move her around and I'm gonna set this camera down and show you her torso can actually be moved too so you can see she actually moves you know independently of the rest of her yeah, it's something good to note. All four of her feet are hooves, so you're not going to be able to put standard Monster High shoes on her. Good point. That would just look silly. Yes, it would. <laughs> but there she is, looking, like I said, just fierce. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show, too. She does come with um, a red bracelet or a pinkish bracelet on this wrist and a purple one on this wrist, and then her hands are black. Right, her hands are black and made to look like gloves because there's that little ruffle accent on both. Yep. Okay, so what do you guys think of her? Is she cool? Is she one that you want to add to your collection? Let us know down in the comments. And we hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you guys in the next Monster High video. Thanks for watching. Bye.